<laughs> you, you ladies are so amazing. I have to say, there's two podcasts I listen to. It's Lady Gang and The Skinny Confidential. Oh, good. Which you guys have been on. Yeah. Yes, yes, them. yes. They're friends of ours. Yes, awesome. So I want to find out, first of all, how Lady Gang came about. Well, basically, Becca and I were having lunch one day, and we were kind of like, woe is us, entertainment is hard when you don't have, like, famous parents to, like, help you along, or, like, the last, I mean, Baldwin or something, I don't know, <laughs> even though we love her. Um, and we were like, let's start, let's get a TV show. And we're like, well, no one's going to give us a TV show. And I had been a big podcast listener, even though no one was really listening to podcasts at that time. And we're like, well, we could do a podcast. And we're like, we need a third girl. And Jack and I have a mutual ex-boyfriend, and she's, like, has this great sort of ridiculous humor and is really dry and sassy and is a female entrepreneur and gives us a little bit of like street cred so we asked her over text message like you want to do this thing with us and she's like huh what yeah yeah I'll do it and then that I was gonna be like random YouTube videos I was like cool this will be fun to do like on a weekend once in a while and now it's taken over my life so you know <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> right? how did you know it was becoming a thing you're like oh my god you guys people are listening to us so when we started the podcast, it was like very, very celebrity driven. It still is. But like we'd have a celebrity guest on. We thought that that was going to be like the thing that was pushing us along. And after we had done a few episodes, all these girls were really getting involved in our lives and our relationships with each other. And we were getting more listens on some of the episodes where it was just us three than when we had a celebrity guest. So we're like, people actually care about us. That's so great. We thought we would have to be like completely driven by celebrities. So. And do you ladies have to push each other to come up with topics and stuff? Like, do you guys have a group chat going on? Like, we should talk about this. We should talk about that. Oh, there's so many group chats. There's, like, the OG lady gang. There's a lady gang social. There's a lady gang uh, lawyer. There's, I mean, it's it doesn't actually stop ever. Well, we don't yeah. really talk. Like, we're not chatting about topics. I think we all just go live our individual lives. If something great or really crappy happens to us, we write it down because that's, like, the basis of our first segment on our podcast. And, Yeah. Just talk about anything. So when E! News called, or who, who reached out to you first? How was that process? I mean, not E! News, E! Network. Yeah, so um, Kelty had known some of the executives at the network just through her career, and then I'd had a couple meetings with them over the years during Glee, and Annie Roberts is over there, and she was one of our first listeners. She found the podcast, she listened to the first one or two, and literally after, I think, episode two, she emailed Kelty and said, I listen to the podcast, come in for a meeting. So we sit down, and she's like, I love it, it's so great, would you want to do something digital with E? And um, Jack and I were like, you mean you want to pay us to do this? We're doing it for free. Kelsey was like, you know what? Um, we're going to make this the biggest podcast in a year, and then you're going to come back, and we're going to do a TV show. And Annie was like, more power to you. And that's what we did. And then E came back around. They stayed in the game. And it was our dream network. Like, crazy. Shout out to Annie. Yeah. Shout out to Annie. Annie our girl. Any tips for girls wanting to start podcasts? Like, what do they have to do? What's the first thing? You have to be ready to put it all out there. I think that people are smart and they can smell bullshit. So, also, like, the biggest thing for our podcast that has made it so successful is we've been consistent. We haven't missed a single... We have two episodes a week now, and it's going to be the TV show. We haven't missed a single episode since we started, so girls know what they're going to get. So I think that there's a lot of noise out there, especially in the podcast world, because everybody thinks that they can start a podcast. So... If you have a good, different perspective on something, I think that's going to make you stand out. Okay, one last question. How do you avoid the F-boys in L.A.? Give it to me. Well, you can't. <laughs> I've dated them all. I can tell you about it. <laughs> um, give us their Instagram handles, and we will scope it out for you, girl. It's impossible. They're everywhere. There's a good man that's in L.A. My husband is born and raised in L.A., and he's a good guy, but he's from outside L.A. Are you born and raised in L.A.? Yeah. Are you a good guy? You don't look like a good guy. You look a little bit like a fuckboy. Yeah. It's not the guys that are born and raised in L.A. that are the fuckboys. It's the ones who come to L.A. to try to be famous. Stay away. Do not date an actor. Are you dating? Do you need advice? What's going on? Focusing on my career, sure. trying to launch. A Get a girl. It'll Good girl. When it Get needs it. to. You don't need to worry about it. Just rich. You guys are gonna cheat on you. <laughs> cheat on you, but you'll still be rich. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Before you go, let's do a fun shout out. You can hold the mic too. Hi, Fab TV. We're, We're the, the Lady, Lady Gang. Gang. Catch us Sunday nights on E or our podcast, The Lady Gang.